Hey guys, this is Rob Stance at TISB Research and Development. I'm out here and I mean, she's my booty cover and, and then I got my helmet. So, nowhere near tinfoil. If you're using tinfoil, please stop. Please stop. I may look different, awkward, or whatever out here, but. I don't think anybody's really giving a fuck about any kind of social fucking uh, look or, or anything like that. I mean, my hope, my face is looking a lot better in my eyes. My nose got freaking all chafed right here and then it peeled yesterday. It feels better. But it's like every time I wear glasses, it would wind up all up here and then cover this and then wind up right here because all that is electricity. Um, what's crazy is, is that um, I always come up with something to to um, to resist or, or 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 stop an attack of some sort they, that they throw out. I've been doing working on just ignoring. I picked up the information that I need, and it just seems to me that. It's like an Antafia. Because um, you got to understand, the Nightingale security drones, the, the DHS drones are right here. And then these other stars, and they look like stars. Trust me. At first I was like, you know, those are those got to be stars. They're so far up, so far away. Point a laser at it. Watch that thing go and, and it goes around in circles. When you hit one, you'll see other drones starting to move because they're all seems like they're all tethered together. Um, I don't know if it's running off a of harp or, or, or CERN, uh, but I know they use electromagnetic um, energy. But could that be radio frequencies uh, tuned up at a higher level or a low level? And you know, radio frequencies they can turn into um, uh, uh, energy and energy turns into radiation and that radiation is like a microwave you know so it, it, it could be just, just tuned up just differently if you add a spectrum of, uh, of NM nanometers along with it like a particle beam you're going to create uh, a good weapon you know, a solid weapon that will travel through the chemtrails and the, the, the heavy light will, will beam into your room or whatnot, and they'll pop an eye in there and they'll attack you or whatnot. You gotta remember our, our, our drywalled house, they, you know, the energy gets stuck between that drywall. You know, that's why they built it. It's crazy because if you think about it, you know, you start to see uh, how they weaponized our homes to be little coffins, you know, nice big coffins or whatnot, but it sits between there. And see, the energy should be coupled by, uh, you know, in or between our walls, should be coupled with copper and then grounded to Mother Earth. But they're not. It's got a ground wire, but that ground wire one runs along it. So basically, it's getting already overloaded with dirty energy. So that dirty energy has nowhere else to go but up and fill the walls. And with the chemtrails, light and everything, the barium, the aluminum, the heavy metals. That stuff's just gonna travel. You guys gotta understand. Take Corella. You know, I bought probably two, two of these big ones. These are uh, a thousand milligrams of Corella, and these are what's nice about it. These are one uh, equals a thousand milligrams. I take two or three, you know, because it's this looks shitty out over where I live in Hesperia. The crazy thing is, is that they had. That uh, um, usually the the Santa Ana winds run east to west, oh, like forever. You know, since I've been living in Oceanside, I moved out to Hesperia. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not one to go, oh, because of me, you know, this and that here and there. You know, I mean, I think of others before I think of myself. But the strangest thing is that now it runs from west to east. And it's been running that way since I moved out to Hesperia. 
you know, which is crazy because it's kind of fucked up because it pushes all the L.A., San Bernardino, uh, San Diego, all that you know, chemtrails out there, which China whips out and it goes over the ocean and, and it gets, you know, riddled in, you know, Oceanside or whatnot, you know. That's why, I mean, I'm in Oceanside right now. It's not that bad, but, I mean, these people have not seen the sun, I mean, literally, clear skies for a very fucking long time. And because they're pulling in China now, you know, before it was better when it was natural from the earth and running from east to west, and it blows that shit out to the ocean, down to China, and it gets it away from areas in California, but no, they switched it with, 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 uh, with heart and had it going west to east, and now we're, it's just, it fills up the bowls, you gotta understand, and understand that, that these cities are built in bowls, you know, yes, okay, for water, you know, so that way the accumulated water will drain into the city and, and feed the city water supply, which is normal for uh, civilizations, but the thing is, the same thing you'll get with chemtrails because you get with the pressure higher eleva elevations and it goes down into the bowls to the cities. That's why the chemtrails are heavy, that's why it's dangerous to be in cities. If you're in a city, GTFO, get the fuck out, okay? And it's like, uh, and you guys gotta figure it out, but even worse, what brings me to my awareness is that haven't you noticed that these perps distract us they keep us uh, busy they keep us in rabbit holes worried about this and that here and there when, when is it gonna, we're going to find time to go hey we already know all that shit we already know about the pedophile rings all that other bullshit you know but nobody's doing anything it's just a distraction and look what's going on now didn't you think it's just in your heads that maybe they're distracting us once they're in power and all those fucking FEMA camps they're just sitting there not used all the coffins not used you know FEMA camps just sitting there wouldn't you think in your head that hey once they're in power wouldn't the empowered ones get sent to FEMA camps and the rest die because you got to understand one thing is that um, we are hit with so much energy we're resilient you know their UV light that they hit us with kills off pathogens you know and all that other shit the sad part about it it creates mold too as well Excuse me. and the thing is with that is that it could be in our bodies but the thing about it is is that a lot of these people aren't getting hit like us. I mean, of course they're getting fucked with, but not near like TIs. And if you understand, TIs are, they built a resistant resilience, resiliency to this energy over day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out. And these other people are just, they ain't gonna affect us, so better them than me, you know? And uh, uh, you must understand, they don't have that resiliency. Once they take that shot uh, that, that they're going to take for Corona or whatever else, that, you know, I mean, it's, it's game over. You know, plus a 5G, 6G, whatever. I think it's already in and out of here. But, um, uh, I mean, just hope and pray that our abilities to adapt uh, will overcome this and our abilities to figure it out. I, you know, I hope and I pray also as well is that hopefully these 6G whatever they put in is gonna awaken everyone. I hope everybody gets awakened, and sees what the, uh, what the, uh, the other side is doing, you know, and, and that, that Trump's not a bad guy, but at least he's holding on to someone. He's only one guy. He's only one guy. You know, everybody's got to, you know, put in. But we see Antafia going in there and freaking Black Lives Matter. It's, it's all fake. 
You see all those people, they're all white crackers, you know, white privileged, you know, and making an issue about something. Right? What are people going to get the idea that racism is, is done? It's over. If you're a racist, you're old and retarded. If you're thinking other people are racist, you're fucking old and retarded. You know? I'm really, who's really fucking racist that you know? I mean, I may have ran in a few people and it's like, come on, really, dude? But yet, you know, come on. Big deal. Here's a shit. I'm a mixed race. I'm fucking, I'm, I call myself a hybrid. I don't care. I got 3% black. I don't care. I can tell you, I got my jive. I got my fucking, you know, uh, my groove on. You know, because I, I, can, I, can, I can blend in anywhere. You know, but... One thing we gotta we gotta understand is that maybe they're distractions. Maybe people should start getting off your fucking asses. I know it's hard. I know it's fucking hard. But I brought the shield into you people, and I mean I brought the armor of God. I brought the helmet of salvation. You know, I, you know, it, it's, it's all real. This is all real. What it says in the Bible, it may you may think that oh, it's the word. And preachers, what you learn from preachers. Oh, the Bible is your armor of God in the Word, this and that. Hey, hey, you know, you guys got to understand. Those people aren't awakened. They're not enlightened. They can't read the parables in the Bible. The Bible is supposed to teach us. Give us ideas. Money keepers, you just keep, kick the money keepers tables. What does that mean? money keepers and the devil trapped him and got him freaking crucified so the money keepers and the devil work together figure it out people I already did the parables they, they mean they mean something different places in the bible they mean something you know you know all that stuff you learn in, 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 in church and all that stuff you gotta remember those people are guiding people over a cliff they, they can't read the parables. They don't understand the Bible. And the Bible don't work like they, like they think it is. These people that memorize freaking, uh, um, you know, chapters and and, and, and and different verses and stuff, you know, those are just numbers. And people just, you know, they don't understand what it really is talking about. And we're living it. Wake up. Wake up. Who cares? I mean, look, what's going on around the world? Why don't you focus on yourselves? Focus on one thing. You know, focus that we're all in this together. And that, and I have, you know, I, I worked hard because I got tired of hearing all these damn TIs lending, telling people the wrong way, shield this way. Oh, use aluminum. Fucking aluminum? Fucking bah! You know, it's, it's like, I, I I would never use aluminum. I, I don't use aluminum. I don't touch it. I don't go near it to make a tinfoil cap too. Ugh. Yeah. Back in the day, we used aluminum to create antennas to get a better signal because we only got five channels out in the desert. You know, so we used aluminum. And you people use it and you just create an antenna, a better connection. It may feel like it's helping a little bit. No, because it's spreading it out. It, it, you know, sometimes when your body is numb, when you have already damage, you tend to become numb to it. The pain and stuff like that. But you can tell when, you're, when your brain's in pain. You wake up and we're going, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know. It works you. When you're asleep, they just work you think you're alright they hit you with frequencies that you can't realize you don't, you can't tell you won't be able to feel it the only way I see it is because of these goggles oh and these goggles woo wee <laughs> these are badass but the thing is they fog up and and then it's like fuck ah you know and, and, and it's a pain in the ass but but I mean, 
we're talking UV, freaking uh, IR, freaking all those uh, those radiation laser freaking that make makes you feel all kinds of moods. I I also learned that uh, your directive. I mean, literally, you may think because the ears uh, you seal them up that you're getting commands through your ears or things to argue with someone. No, 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 no. Through your eyes as well. <laughs> Seriously. You know, these are amazing. These are radiation glasses, just in case if you didn't know and you're new. A stack of five, like, like a stack of pancakes. And I use epoxy. And then I, I, I use a Dremel to cut them. It's one pair of glasses. An $88 pair on uh, on eBay. And then I even glaze the outside with epoxy. To make it all solid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, a little, I'm going to epoxy uh, a chain that goes onto a clip-on. And my ear up here. Just in case, you never know. We might have to do some ancient uh, times freaking travel, like migrate. We might have to fucking migrate. I don't know, Russia. I don't know, uh, South America. Um, we might have to, you know. We, I think we're going to have to, especially as TIs. We're going to have to get together. We're going to have to GTFO, seriously. You know, just like Moses taking the Jews uh, uh, away from the Egyptians you know you know and, and, and bam you never know I, I keep on getting these things going you're going to have to teach them and it's like whoa 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 and I'm like great is, is, is this going to be a Moses thing I mean I keep on getting in my head that I want to be you know I, I, I see Moses I see how he used the snake in order to defeat a snake I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, always, you know, make sure I'll be carrying tablets. I don't know. But, you know, I kind of want to try to direct people the right way. So I found this sandstone mountains in my area, right by the Cajon Pass. So I'm going to start start doing petroglyphs or hydroglyphs and start chipping out, you know, pictures of, of like, you know, what happens if you listen to the snake equals damnation and this and that and here and there. And maybe even people might get it. I'll try to make it easier than the Egyptians. I mean, that's what Zeppelin was talking about, you know, and the Beatles. I mean, the Zeppelin, you know, mostly. You know, the writing on the... Pink Floyd, the writing on the wall. You know what I mean? A lot of them, you know. It's Egyptian. You know, he, he tells the bird man up there, you know, you know what I mean? It's in Sumerian, uh, freaking everywhere. It's everywhere, everywhere, you know. And uh, I researched my history enough just to know that I go, whoa, these people are using uh, our, our past history of ancient alien freaking uh, people that, 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 that were freaking captivating uh, humans in order to pull up this gold so they can get the hell off this planet. I would too. You know, now humans are doing the same thing and, uh, and, and calling themselves gods and, and doing whatever, but I think they're just captivating 